Hey, what's up everyone? It's your real Tyler Ray. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. And if you are a returning subscriber, what's up y'all? So I wanted to go ahead and have a conversation. I wanted to kind of take things back a little bit and talk about why I decided to start my logs. You know, what was the inspiration for starting my logs? And yeah, I think that's about it. So go ahead and continue watching this video. If you have anything to add to it, or if you want to discuss anything, make sure to comment below. And then while you're at it, like the video. And if you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe as well. The first thing that I'm going to talk about in this video is mindset, right? Because that was the beginning of the journey, although I didn't realize it. My mindset completely changed from wanting a particular lifestyle to wanting a completely different one. <laughs> my mind, the growth that I've had like throughout my spiritual journey made me realize like I just want contentness, happiness, and I want to be able to love and enjoy life without the conditions of certain things. Now, before, you know, I used to say, oh, you know, I want this nice old house and I want this big old, you know, nice car and things like that. My mindset completely changed from that. And with that type of mindset, it came a different type of look, right? Um, I didn't think locks. It was more so, oh, you know, I want my hair to be nice and long and flowing and, you know, I want to, you know, switch up my hairstyle every so often, things like that. But when it started to become about minim minim minimalism, right, simplicity, happiness and contentment, my mindset started to shift about the things that I wanted around me instead of you know, wanting to focus on what I have now, it was more so how can I begin to focus on the things that I want to create generational wealth and how I want my future family to feel in their life if I happen to have a family and things like that, you know? Like, I don't want them to be subjected to the rat race and the pleasing just to fit into society, right? <laughs> um, I'm trying to explain it the best way I can. This is the first time that I'm actually having this conversation out loud, so bear with me. But that was the beginning of everything. Now, when it came to actual locks, when I started to see locks again, I've saw locks, you know, of course, all throughout my years, I've seen people with locks. And I love it, I loved it for them. But for me, being as though I was in a different mindset, it was, oh no, I wanna change my hairstyle, you know, every month and every week I have to do my hair and brush it and, and flat and, you know, twist it up to make my puff look good and all these other extra things. And all of that didn't come with who I was turning into, which was someone that, again, wanted things to just be more simplistic in my life. So, I actually cut my hair and I think it was September and then I cut it again in October because it wasn't as short as I wanted it. I wanted like my hair to be completely gone. Around this time, you know, I've already gone through the process of shifting my mindset into um, realizing what exactly I wanted to have in life versus what I wanted in life to sustain a lifestyle that I didn't want. So at this point, I cut my hair, you know, I come across locks, but I come across micro locks. And when I came across micro locks, I'm like, hold up. Like her hair, like the person that I saw, I'm like, you know, her hair looks so good. And then I'm like, you know what? Locks would actually really be the, the direction that I would go in because I wanted simplicity. So I started doing my research about loss because yeah, of course I've seen people with loss, but I haven't really like, you know, done my research on the processes, how you start them, you know, how they, you know, come about, how they mature, how long they take to mature, things like that. I had to do my research on. And the more I was doing my research on, the more I was coming, becoming obsessed. You know, I used to watch YouTube videos like all day, every day for months before I started my loss. And more and more, it just kept making sense. So four months after I cut my hair, that's when I had decided to lock up my hair. 
And honestly, it was the best decision that I could have made because being as though I'm in this simplistic lifestyle and I'm trying to live somewhat of a, you know, a content uh, mindset and being happy with the things that I currently have and being happy and, and, and focusing on what makes me happy. I didn't want to have to always, you know, worry about my hair and things like that. Now don't get me wrong, I do still take time and spend time on my hair, but the hairstyle that I have is simplistic and it's repetitive. You know, it's like wash your hair, retwist your hair, mind your business. That's it, you know, it's, it's nothing too complicated. Oh, now I gotta wash my hair, I gotta deep condition it, I gotta comb it out. I gotta twist it up just to make it look a little bit curly. I gotta put these products in it just to make it look manipulated in the way that, you know, I might want my hair to look at that time frame. Then, oh yeah, let's not forget that I have to spend three days braiding my hair or doing Havana twist in my hair because I want to protect my hair, right? Locks are already a protective style. And I don't need all of the, you know, the tricks to make my hair look good. With locks, my hair is always gonna look good. Um, I mean, not in this moment, you know, give me some time. <laughs> but you know, with locks, I'm not gonna have to worry about that. You know what I'm saying? I can wake up and go. And when I cut my hair, it became more evident to me that I want to wake up and go. I was almost not even about to grow my hair back out. That was my whole mindset um, and somewhat of like the process that I went through to starting my locks. And I just kind of did my research and just took it from there. But it all started with the what I wanted in my life versus what I had in the past that made me say no to locks. So let me know what you guys think. If you had a similar, you know, story or how did you go about starting your locks? Did it start with mindset or did it start where you just love the way locks look and you wanted them? Go ahead and comment below. I look forward to seeing you all's comment. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.